Hello everyone, I have prepared this video because one friendly subscriber has requested me for providing a download file in .lisp format which will work similarly like my previous .fas format file. The previous file is here at my channel in this video which says AutoCAD Lisp Routine, Automatic Point Labeling and Coordinate Table Generator. So, if you have watched my previous video about Coordinate Lisp, then I am sure you already have the idea what this video is going to be about. And if you have not, I suggest you do watch that video too. With this Lisp command you can just place the location of the points and we can get the points numbers automatically. Not only this but also get the coordinates table automatically. Before we begin, if you're new here, I'm Bishnu, and I create practical AutoCAD tutorials to help you level up your drafting skills one step at a time. There are more useful tutorials on my channel and still more videos are on the way, so make sure don't miss any. And also I like to request you to share this video to others and support this channel. Now, let's dive in and make AutoCAD a little easier for you to master. Well, in this tutorial video, we are going to use a Lisp file which will very easily give the point numbering. And also it will create the table with the easting, northing, and z elevation coordinates serially with the point numbering. Well, if you are new for the term, Lisp. A Lisp file is a text file containing code written in the Lisp programming language. Lisp files are commonly used to store functions, macros, and other code structures that can be loaded and executed within a Lisp environment, such as in AutoCAD or other applications that support Lisp. Here we can see a Lisp file. I have named this file as CAD Magics, which is my YouTube channel name and in bracket we can see XYZ, which stands for coordinates. This Lisp will activate the XYZ command in AutoCAD which will help in creating or numbering the points where we have placed and also generate the coordinate table. I have also provided the download link for you from where you can easily download this Lisp file. Now, let's select this Lisp file and copy it with Ctrl plus C. Open the AutoCAD file in which we are going to generate coordinate table. Now we have to paste our copied Lisp at the place where AutoCAD uses the space for loading Lisp application. We can just type upload or even easier, a P and press enter. From here we can load or unload any applications which are either AutoCAD default programs or any we have brought here. Let's right click somewhere here and paste. We have to provide administrative permissions for the changes we want to make, click continue and click yes. Then the Lisp file is pasted at this location. Till now we have just pasted our Lisp file here. To get our command to work on this file, we have to load it first. For this, we have to select our Lisp file and click on this load. And we can see here could Magix XYZ file successfully loaded. Now we can close this dialog box. Now we have a new command in our AutoCAD file, that is XYZ. For using this Lisp, first of all we need to place the points at the locations for which we are going to generate coordinate table. So let's type point and press enter. Let's click at this corner of building A, we can repeat the point command just by pressing spacebar or enter. And go on clicking at other corners respectively. Or there is another way too. We can just draw a circle, does not matter with the size, draw some circles at remaining corners. Now, let's type XYZ and press enter. We can see it's prompting us to provide the text size. For now let's type 2 and press enter. Now it asks for the precision we need. Let's type 3 for 3 digits after decimal. Now point mark, let's type A1 to start the numbering from A1 and press enter. Now it asks us where to plot the point numbers or not, type E for yes or H for no. If we just want to get the coordinate table without labeling point numbers at points, we can select no. For now, let's type E and press enter. Now it asks us to select objects. Here, if we select points, all the points will be selected and coordinates of that points will be shown in the table. Or if we select the circle we get the coordinate table for the circle center points. We can select quickly. It will automatically filter other objects and collects point data or circle data only. Let's select points. Now it asks whether to sort the table. Just type S and press enter. Now we can see the coordinate table attached to our cursor. We can click where we want to place the coordinate table. We can see the point numbering and table in the text size we provided. Let's repeat the process again.
This time, let's select circle. We can see point numbers are placed where the circles are located and their coordinates are shown in the table. Again, if we want to add the points from this and other building B, we can just add points just like we did before. Type point and go on placing points at every corners. Again type the command XYZ and repeat the whole process. Table will be formed with all the points on our drawing. Now we can move this table and take it wherever we need. We can change their properties, shape, and size. They are just lines and texts. As I have said this video is similar this another video on my channel. Just the difference would be .fas and .lisp format. Which one do you better prefer to use? Tell me on comment section. And that's a wrap. You can simply click on the link shared below to download the Lisp file. And I still have hundreds of useful Lisp files at my backup. Since my channel is very new, do not hesitate to support by sharing, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. If you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or need more clarification, drop them in the comments below, I'd love to help. Thanks for watching, and happy drafting!